This building is amazing, but even more amazing, the mission and the ministry that happen here. Hi, I'm Kathy Wiegand, she, her, hers, and I serve as the pastor here at Algoma Boulevard United Methodist Church, where all people are truly welcome. Over the next three years, we plan to raise close to $500,000 to take care of this place. If you haven't watched our video tours that have more information, that have project information and estimates, you can find all of them on our website at abumc.org or you can look for them on our Facebook page. I don't want to talk about boilers, flooring, parking lots, or the other things that are problems in our building at this point. Today, I really want to talk about the mission and the ministry that get to happen because we have this space. Taking care of it helps us continue to do the work that God has called us to do. Having this place allows us to reach out and share the love of God and the example of Jesus Christ sharing God's love and God's light in all of the ways that we can. As a response to the question, what can we do to love God and to love all of our neighbors? A small group of people prayed and discerned God's call and have started a once a month free meal. On the last Monday of every month, we open our doors and offer a place at the table for anyone who wants to share a meal. We remember that Jesus opened his table to everyone, and we seek always to live in that example. If you are lonely, come and experience community and share a meal with others. If you're tired and don't have the energy to cook a meal for your family, bring them here and let us feed them. If you're hungry, if you're struggling financially, and having a meal frees up a little money in your budget, we'd love to have you here. Please think about who you could invite to come and eat with us. Please feel free to invite others to share it on your social media and bring it up in the conversations that you have. God has called us to use this big and well-equipped kitchen along with our large hall to feed people, to share God's love and to share kindness, to open up this space, to make a difference and provide a safe haven for anyone who might want it. Since that first meal, we've had one person who is here faithfully every month. I think our volunteers look forward to seeing that person and I know that person is excited to be here. They've begun to know each other well and appreciate each other. A month or two ago, a group of three high school students were walking by the building, saw the sign, and realized it was the night of the free meal. So they came in and they asked if they could eat too. We were able to serve them a meal, to engage with them. At the end of their meal, they politely brought all of their dirty dishes into the kitchen and thanked everyone for sharing with them. Each month, there are new people to meet and new stories to share. And we trust that God will continue to work through this place, our volunteers, those who come to be fed. We know that lives can be changed. For the people who responded to God's call and continue to do the work of cooking and serving and sharing, we give thanks to God. For the many people who have made donations of money and food of their time and their energy, we give thanks to God. And for the many people who have come into this space, who have gathered around tables to share a meal, we give thanks to God. As we continue to be good stewards, this kitchen, of the hall, of this whole building, we are reminded that God calls us to love and serve, to share and to give, to meet people's needs where they are. We continue to work to be good stewards of this place and we offer up our lives to God, asking how we can serve, how we can share, and how we can make a difference in the name of Jesus Christ.